Welcome back to Cambridge House Live. I'm Vanessa Collette here at the Cantech Investment Conference and I'm very happy to be joined by Norman Su. He is the CEO and director of a company called Ava Genesis, which trades on the TSX under the symbol VVA. Welcome, Norman. Great to have you on the show. Thanks, Vanessa. I'm happy to be here. Norman, what is the business model of the company? Well, uh, Ava Genesis is a biotechnology uh, company that is in the complex task of taking liposuction fat from yourself, uh, putting it through our proprietary technology and instruments, and extract the rich regenerative stem cells that you have within that fat. It's a, it's a pure gold mine of regenerative cells. Interesting. I think when people usually think of stem cells, they think of wisdom teeth, um, cord blood, placenta, so you can actually get stem cells just from your own um, uh, cells? Your yeah, your, your own, actually your own fat. So uh, obviously um, you don't have to go in to have cosmetic surgery to, to get liposuction procedure done. Um, the doctor can easily t take some fat out and once that fat is placed into our machine, they press a button and magically within 60 minutes we have a very, very rich mixture of those stem cells for regenerative purposes. There, there are stem cells all over your body, but the thing is we found, um, and, and the current literature has basically said that adipose tissue, the fat within yourself, has more stem cells on a volume basis than bone marrow. Wow, and why is it so concentrated in adipose tissue? Uh, just, just because where it is, you know, we're constantly creating new fat cells and <laughs> shrinking and things like that. It's been your body's uh, repository. and, and uh, that's where they reside. Is this a more recent discovery? Uh, it's been known for about 10 years, just over 10 years now, but the funding for the research uh, has come about in the last few years, and we're gonna hear more and more about this over the next uh, coming uh, months and years, for sure. And now the primary applications are in cosmetic surgery, but you recently made an acquisition uh, which takes you into the medical industry field. Well? Yes. field as well? Yes, we're entering the burn management field. And so uh, our current focus is in cosmetic surgery for things like acne filling, uh, wrinkles, uh, scars, uh, and, and augmentation. Uh, but definitely burn management. When we, when we see the tra traumatic cases we have in, in burns and things like that, I think it's very important to have this technology in, in, in that sector. Absolutely. Are you looking at any other acquisitions? Uh, you know, we're constantly always looking for other markets and, and, and better acquisitions. And, uh, we have an eye on a few things, uh, but nothing that I can say talk about right now. Absolutely. Now, what markets are you primarily serving right now? Uh, we are moving our products into areas such as Taiwan. Uh, Taiwan is a great market, and tai Taipei has two to three hundred cosmetic surgeons in a very small, uh, in, in, well, in a very small area, being the city of Taipei. And um, obviously, from a distribution and growth perspective, having uh, a, a team there with a high concentration of cosmetic surgeons would, is, is extremely good, uh, valuable for us. And your, your model, I guess your proprietary technology, I think you, you named it cellular bioprocessing? Yes, yeah, so we do the complex task of, uh, of breaking down the fat and getting those cells into a, a syringe for the doctor to use. And so in the end of the day, we want to make sure that the artists or, or the doctors um, be the best artist possible for their patients and we take away the complex task of getting those cells into that doctor's hand. I, I, I kind of say um, it's kind of like uh, we make the paint and we let the artist be the artist. Interesting. Um, now what about banking stem cells? I know that that's kind of a new industry that's cropped up. People banking their stem cells for later use. So uh, Absolutely. So we hear a lot about like core blood um, storage and things like that and that's a great business and it's a, it's, there may be other therapies and, and medical therapies that may come from that. Um, the most immediate thing you hear about it is for leukemia transplants and uh, blood cancers. Uh, but in terms of the stem cells that come from fat and things like that, that can also be processed and stored for future use. And again, that, uh, you know, visit your cosmetic surgeons and they may have ideas on how that can be done. What's the stock performance been like in the last 12 months? Uh, well, you know, I, uh, we IPO'd our company uh, through a reverse takeover in December of 2013. Uh, the initial price was at 50 cents and uh, we've just been working with our shareholders and, and working on our business and hitting our milestones and the stock has continuously moved all the way up to a high of just over $2. Okay. Um, it's, it, you know, with the markets the way they're at, it's come back to about $1.50 and we've been very happy with the, the progress and we're very surprised that uh, 
the amount of resilience and support that we've had from all our shareholders. So we're very are, pleased by it. What have been some of the, the biggest challenges for you so far? Uh, you know, it's, it's always, uh, you know, when you go into manufacturing and get products out, you know, getting delays on, on getting plastics and parts um, out of Asia. We, we manufacture in Canada, so, um, so we have a, stem, a great little stem cell company in Canada. Um, and the other thing is just getting our message out um, to the institutional and, and finance communities. And we set our company up to be institutional grade. You know, we don't have um, any derivatives. We have no warrants. We have no debt. We have no stock options. Uh, insiders own 57% of the company. We don't take big salaries. We're here for the shareholders and because we believe in the business long term. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Norman. It was a pleasure having you. Great. Thank you.